you want to check it up and check it out because uh, a rapper named Daquan Westbrook, but his alias in rap is actually a uh, Donkey Cartel. He's out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, he started his Christmas Eve off thinking he was going to pick up a couple of gifts, get fresh for uh, Christmas, of course. But unfortunately, by the end of the day, he was actually dead. Now, the media report, if you read that, okay, and if you're wondering how all your favorite rappers will be portrayed if something bad happens to them, okay, the media says, okay, this is what the mainstream media is putting out about this guy. I don't know him. I, I've listened to a couple of his songs. I don't know him or his history. But they say he's been arrested 11 times. Time since 2013 he just graduated high school in 2014 he had a song called can't be touched had a mixtape cover with an orange jumpsuit making hand signs and he even was an expecting father he has a child on the way now i can tell you already okay they sprinkle all that in before they get to the real situation of what happened how he died to say hold y'all sympathy okay it's pretty much it's kind of like a disclaimer to tell everybody who's repping for black lives matter don't y'all even think about coming through you know why it's a officer shooting a police officer shot him and this is a story okay while he was in the mall right he was trying to get fresh right he was he was arguing with another man okay please don't know if it's gang related but apparently somebody got jumped an off-duty police officer who was working security at the mall he responded and basically tried to break up the fight while trying to break up the fight several shots were fired and Daquan Westbrook aka Mr. Donkey Cartel laid dead now the thing about this is man uh, it sounds a little bit sketchy and even though they're saying a lot of guns were found at the scene which means uh, the uh, Donkey Cartel was also armed I'm still a little bit skeptical, man. I don't know. Maybe it's a little public distrust for the police nowadays because they sprinkle all that in. And they'll. And according to them, the rapper pointed the gun at police, right? And then they just shot him and killed him. You never know if that's the case. That might be the case, okay? But when they started telling you, like, about his whole history before that incident, they kind of tell you, like, listen, man, this is a, it's a good thing we got rid of him, okay? They tell you about his, all, all his arrest and all that thing, so... Who knows? But uh, he has been killed. It's an unfortunate situation. I'm sure he didn't plan on getting into a shootout when he went to the mall. But, of course, he was armed. And, uh, hey, who knows if he had a gun legally? It seems like he didn't have it legally or he shouldn't have it in the mall legally. And that's the incident that happened. Now, uh, the mall was shut down for a couple of hours. Everybody else was safe. The only person that got hurt and killed was Mr. Donkey Cartel. So, hey, it's a very tough situation for his family to go through, and especially his baby mama who's expecting uh, a child. And also his family has to, like, mourn his loss uh, during the holidays. So very sad situation. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. If you have never heard his music and you want to check it out, just Google Donkey Cartel. You could find a couple of things on YouTube. It's your boy Jackie Demix, man. How about